Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you guys how to set up an account and then bid on 32 auctions. This is for the Jasper Yellowhead um, Historical Society Museum and Archives auction for the 2020 Festival of Trees. And so what you do when you first get to the website, you want to go to 32auctions.com right here. And then you want to go to uh, login. And then you want to go here to create an account now. So I'm just going to put my name and I'm going to put an email address that I'm actually not going to use because I already made an account. So then I'm going to click all of this stuff here and I'm going to click create an account. password and so they've sent an email off to this so I'm just going to go open that and then you open the email and then you click yes fin finish creating my account because I'm using a different browser I'm just going to copy the link and open it here but when you do it you'll probably have the same browser again there you go and now I have an account uh, now what you want to do is you want to go and type in keep 32 auctions that part of the bar up and then go J Y H S it's already there because I've been going on it on my other account 2020 and then click enter and there you go now you're at the auction so this page is just going to tell you everything about the auction here and then about the museum itself and here you can see all the dates, like what day we started, what day we're ending. I actually have to extend it later today. Um, how much money we've already raised, and every single one of our sponsors. Let me just zoom out a little bit. So you guys can see that there's quite a number of people that were really generous and gave us some stuff for the auction. And so they all get a spot here alphabetically. And then you have like featured items. You just have to keep scrolling down. You'll get to our featured items, which are just items that I've decided that, hey, I'm going to highlight this thing. That'll change here and there. And then you can click here to view all items. Another way you can just go straight to all items is to go back to the top. And when you're here, just click this button right here. And it'll take you here. And now you have all these gorgeous items going on. And let's say, um, let's pick something that doesn't have a bit on it. Uh, or something that doesn't have a bid on it and I'm okay taking. Uh, okay, um, da, 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 da. there's lots of stuff here. Drinks displays, farmhouse, I'll do that one. So right now, okay, so the way that this works is that there's a minimum bid increment increase and here it's $5 and the current bid is $30. So the number I put in has to be at least $35. I can put $50, I can put uh, $35 exact, or I can put like the exact value of the tree if I feel like I really want it. But I am just putting this down. So you click 35 and then you put exact bid and then you click place your bid. Another way you can do it is something called a proxy bid. And a proxy bid will basically, um, you put in your dollar amount and it will, um, increase by five up until that. So let's say I put like $100. What will happen when I place the proxy bid is that it's going to first put $35. And then if someone else outbids me, it'll automatically take someone, say someone outbids me for $40, it, the system will automatically bid for 45. And it'll keep going like that until I reach my maximum of 100. So $100 is the maximum that I want to pay and the proxy bid will just keep doing it that way. That way you don't have to always keep coming back. So there's a fun in always coming back, uh, but then you do that. So I'm just gonna put 35. I'm gonna put place my bid as an exact bid because I don't wanna put a proxy bid right now. And then you click submit. You can't accidentally bid on something. They'll make you, they make you do this so that you don't accidentally bid. And then, and it says, congratulations. You're currently have, you currently have the leading bid. If you're outbid, we'll send an email with a link to this page so you can bid again. Great, I'm the leading bidder. I'm gonna get all this nice stuff that's right here. See these pretty pictures that Rob took. Item description, who it was donated by, 
and everything. So that's basically how you use it. And then if I want to watch it, I just click the heart. And that's it. And you can also see who else has bid on this. And that's basically how you bid. Now, some of the cool things about this feature is that you can actually go and categorize it. So you can say, I want to just look at things that have gift certificates. I click that, and these are everything that has gift certificates on it, which is a, a lot of stuff. Or but say I just want to look at food. So I go down and I click food. And this is everything that has a food or a beverage attached to it. And so it's really fun and it's really easy. Say I want to just look at sporting goods. This is the stuff that has sporting goods on it. I want to look at uh, health and beauty, all the stuff that has health and beauty related items on it. It's really, I really like this auction website. I think it's very easy to use. And so I hope that this video helped you understand how to make an account and also how to use the auction website. And if you guys have any questions, you're always welcome to call the museum when we're open or to email us.